Yes, uh, welcome back to Eddie Head Stadium for McDonald's Triple M Rocking Football. If you've just joined us, it's half time. It's Sydney leading the Bombers by 43 points. Sydney 12 4 76 to the Bombers at 5 3 33. In just a couple of moments, we'll have the number one rating program on Friday Night Football. That's the Chew and Wolf show, and we have got some hardcore statistical analysis coming your way, much to the pleasure of the Chief, who is our number one supporter of this particular program, going strong into its fourth season. And uh, about to pick up the headset is uh, Gary. Gary, uh, great to have you with us on the Chew and Wolf show. Um, <laughs> Hey, magnificent yeah. man. That, that was seamless stuff. I just got caught out doing some more research for the show, yes. and um, I, I, I didn't panic. Everyone else did, but I said, hey, to, uh, me and Chu had a meeting this week. I said, listen, I think it's nearly time for you to step up <coughs> and start taking some of the hosting duties, and you did it with a plomb. Thanks, Gary. I didn't panic as well. Just my uh, yeah. palms are absolutely drenched. You could have gone for another five moisture. minutes and just filled, can you? Uh, no, definitely not. No. Now, you weren't in Sydney last week, were you? No, no, I wasn't. What did you do, by the way? No, I watched the game, uh, did you? Uh, Gary. Did at you? home? I did at home with a cup of tea. Mrs. Chu? Mrs. Chu was uh, reading a novel, actually. She doesn't watch the footy? Uh, no, not very often. Only when the kangaroos are playing, of course. What about the little chulets? Uh, no, they'll tucked away uh, in bed after quarter time, yeah. All right. Well, anyway, last week... Whilst we were up there, it, yep. it appeared they jumped out of the blocks. This is Sydney I'm talking about so well. There was a little similar pattern at about the same time, I think, in tonight's game. About halfway through the second quarter, it appeared to me that's when the Bombers started to find a little bit of run. Was there any, is there any pattern and parallel between last Friday night and tonight? Amazing, Gary. Last week against uh, Hawthorne, halfway into the second quarter onwards, the uh, Hawks posted 3-2 to the Swans one behind. Yes. And uh, halfway into this second quarter, Bombers have kicked three goals, one Swans pretty much only one goal one. They, they kicked the goal just oh, yeah, before half time, which you won't count really. But that is interesting too and it's something that uh, I can see Jay-Z Clark a uh, little uh, man that's it's blown out a little bit but doing some very nice work on Triple M. I wouldn't be surprised if that's the basis of his story tomorrow on this game. The interesting one at the moment is Adam Goods who got subbed off last week. I don't think I can't remember when they went inside 50, now I could be wrong, I doubt it. I can't remember when they went inside 50 and went to him as a target. Unbelievable, Gary. What? Sydney have not gone to Adam Goods once what? Not as an inside 50 target tonight for Hard Yaga. Well, if I, let me just run this through my head. There's Tippett, there's three and the four and the first three. I reckon they've gone to Tippett seven and Buddy three, five. They dropped that. Oh, I wouldn't know. I wouldn't count that. Five to Franklin. Amazing, Gary. They've gone to tip it seven times inside 50, and Franklin five. Spot on. Well, this is interesting. So uh, that's another blockbusting edition of the Chew and Wolf Show, and um, Chew is now hosting. Now is hosting. That right? yeah. Promotion. I think from this point forward, we'll give you the the number one role. Thanks, um, Gary. Kangas tomorrow, just while we're here. Yes, so Sunday. Like, they've got to bounce back, don't they? They're tomorrow, confident against the Brisbane Lions. They tomorrow. should beat them here at Eddie Head. And yeah. they had the buy last week. Did you do any work on the pavilion? So on the what? On the, the pavilion with the spa? Yeah, uh, yeah. well, yes, I did. But uh, I was absolutely devastated from the loss against the uh, Suns before. But you've got to make the most of your time when you have a buy, Gary, in more ways than one. Well, uh, well you go, off you go and get yourself a cup of tea.